Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're going to learn how to use color space transforms in DaVinci Resolve to deal with HLG in the Panasonic G9. And for the impatient ones, please go subscribe to Tony Day because that's where I got all the inspiration to make this video. And if you want a lot more details, please check out the video I made about how to use color space transforms to deal with Sony's S-Log2 and S-Log3 and in my case, it was with the A6400. Lots more information there, but now let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and let's take a quick look on how to deal with HLG in the Panasonic G9 using color space transforms. So now let's take a quick look on how to use color space transform in DaVinci Resolve to go from Panasonic's HLG, or my sick looking face, into a much nicer looking Rec. 709. The first note going to be a color space transform where we're going from REC 2020 and REB STD B67 HLG, which I think and I hope that is the closest thing that defines or maps in a similar manner than Panasonic's HLG. And then we're going into RLX and RLOXY and luminance mapping as I usually choose in here. So now this image is pretty much working in RLOXY color space. Then the output is from RLX and RLOXY to REC709 and REC709 and once again using the luminance mapping. This looks already a lot better, I look already healthier even if overexposed, but then let's adjust this exposure. Once again I'm using the middle nodes between the color space transforms to do the adjustments and because we're in RLOXY everything is nicer and easier and just by adjusting the offset as we saw in the previous video with the A6400 this looks already much much better. Also, you can see that if I take the picker, we are properly white balanced. And also if I set here a round circle mask and let's put it on top of my big face, magic wand, and let's take a look at the vector scope. The skin tones are where they are supposed to be. And we're done. And now for some more details. And the first thing, once again, Please go to Tony Day's channel, subscribe there. He has a lot of excellent content related to these kind of topics. That's where I learned all these things really, and from him. So now we just saw very, very quickly how to use color space transforms in DaVinci Resolve to get good colors from AGLG in the Panasonic G9. As said, if you want a lot more details about this topic, please check my other video on S-Log2, S-Log3 for Sony and the 6400 but what's happening here is that manufacturers do compress color and exposure information into this codex, especially in the log codex, but it's happening also with HLG. And then you need to do work impost to interpret that and make it look good, make it look Rec. 709 kind of good. What happens is that many of us, what we try to do is try to adjust contrast and saturation because the image looks like it's just not contrasty and not saturated. And that is not what the log profile is even if it looks like that, and things don't look as good as we would like to, especially if we don't work a lot for it. Then if we make a lot of work adjusting all the curves and adjusting the colors separately, it's actually a lot of work for what we're trying to do, which is a color correction. And DaVinci Resolve does have proper tools to do that. So what we're trying to do is change from the color space from the camera manufacturer into another color space, which is much easier and nicer to work with. In this case, following the recommendation from Tony, it's the Ari Alexa and the Ari Loxy. No, this does not transform your Panasonic G9 into Ari Alexa. It just transforms the color information or the interpretation of that information from the Panasonic HLG in this case into Ari Loxy, which is a nicer to work with color space. Then in the end, we're gonna be transforming from the same color space, so Ari Alexa, Ari Loxy into Rec. 709, and we use the middle, so we're gonna add notes here to actually do our color grade or make some finer adjustments. And now let's try to do the same that we did for the impatient ones, but going step by step so I can show you exactly where to find all this information. So I'm gonna be creating three notes. The first one is going to be a color space transform and you find that by clicking here in the open FX, color space transform, and we can drag it here. And we're gonna be going from Rec 2020 to RB STD B67 HLG and we're going to RB Alexa, RB Loxy and as many times if you've 
heard me before talking about color space transform, I tend to choose luminance mapping. Then the output color space transform, let's put it here. Now we're going to be going from our Alexa to our Loxy. And then we're going to be going into Rec 709 and Rec 709. And the tone mapping also luminance mapping. This looks already much, much better, but overexposed. At least I look healthily overexposed. Let me close this and put this in the end. I'll disable this as well. And here, just by adjusting the offset, this is going to look much, much better. The skins are where they are supposed to be. They look good. Let's take a look at my skin. And sorry about that. Whoops. But there we go. Skin tones are where they are supposed to be. Let's take this away. Perfect. So here we are. We have a properly exposed image. Let's take a look at before. Seriously, what's wrong with me? Or what's wrong with the skin? And after. I think the change is amazing with so little work. That's to me the best thing of using this method is how easy it is. And now, of course, if you think that this is way too plain and boring and my YouTuber, oh God, I just said that lights behind are not good enough, even if I had a bit of rim light this time, let's add something and let's, again, I don't know, teal and orange it a little bit. And maybe let's add a bit more contrast to make it a bit more dramatic. That's too much. That's how it looks now. Still good kinstones. Now we have some blue in the shadows, if that's what you wanted. And also in the shadows of my hair. And this is how it looked before. All in all, a very, very easy way to handle HLG. We could of course just slap a lot on here. I've never been super successful at doing that. And I feel that using this technique, it's very, very easy and you get excellent colors immediately. One thing to know though, is that Panasonic HLG or Sony HLG for that matter are not specifically listed uh, within DaVinci Resolve. And that's why we used the color space that we used in DaVinci Resolve instead of specifically Panasonic HLG. So I would be very, very curious. And now I'm more interested than before to actually maybe get VLOG onto the Panasonic G9. Please check Tony's video on Panasonic's VLOG and why just adjusting the contrast and saturation is definitely not enough. And doing this, you're gonna get better results. And that for me would be a reason to try to get it with the G9 because we're getting 422 10 bit internally. And now I'm curious, if you have a Panasonic G9, what picture profiles have you been using? Have you been using HLG? Do you have VLOG? Have you been happy? Has it been easy for you to color grade them? And after watching this video, are you gonna be trying these color space transforms? It's so easy that you're gonna spend five minutes just to try it out, so I would recommend to at least give it a shot. If you do, please let me know also down below. I hope you liked the video, you find it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we're gonna see you soon for some more content.